circle time. We have our little friend Kona here visiting today. We'll see what trouble she gets in today. Check into your body. What, do you have your flat feet, flat bottom, calm, safe body, quiet mouth with your eyes on the action? Let's look at our schedule real quick. We have our greetings, we have our calendar, our weather, our map, and then our story. Our story is a sequel to the one we've read the last two days. Very exciting. We'll start with our hello song. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. We're glad you came today. Let's look at our mood meter. Where are you on that scale today? Are you in that uncomfortable, high energy place where you might be annoyed or frustrated? Or are you in that low energy, uncomfortable space where you might, in that blue zone where you might be feeling sick or sad or hungry? Are you in that high energy, comfortable yellow space where you're feeling happy or silly or surprised about something? Or are you down here? in that low energy, comfortable green space where you're feeling calm or relaxed. Check in, tell someone around you, what color are you in? I'll give you a moment. I'm up here in this yellow space right there I'm feeling very happy, maybe a little silly today. I'm pretty sure that our little friend Kona here is in this yellow space as well. She is very interested, maybe a little surprised. She closed the trunk on herself. So our greeting is all done. We're going to move on to our calendar. Now we know, oh, thank you Kona, we know that it's April. So we know we're in April, and we know yesterday was Thursday, so we're moving on to Friday, and we know yesterday was the 23rd, so we're moving on to the 24th. So we're going to take our arrow, and we're going to put it right here on the 24th. And so we're going to write Friday F R I D. A Y, and we're going to write the month, which is April. A P R I L. And we're going to write the number 24. And the year, which is 2020. Great work, everyone. is all done. We're going to move on to our weather. So you're going to look out your window and see what you can see. It's different everywhere. Here in North Bend, Washington, yesterday was stormy and cold and wet and rainy. Today is cloudy and it is feeling cool. It's not as cool as yesterday, but it's still cool. Today, it's 51 degrees, so it's a little warmer, but it's still cool. So I'm going to write our weather cloudy, C-L-O-U-D-Y, and I'm going to write our temperature, which is 51 degrees, and then I'm going to write the word cool. C-O-O-L. Great work, everyone. Checking our schedule. Weather is all done. We're now moving on to our math game. We're going to see if Kona can leave the pins up because she likes to knock them down. So we start with our 10 pins. Count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Our ten pins are up. Our number ten is right here. And I'm going to back up and roll the ball. Oh, I didn't hit any. So we're going to write our first number, which 
percentage is zero. Thank you, Mama. I don't need to help. No, no, Mom. So we're going to write our first number, which is zero. And we're going to count how many are left standing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we still have ten standing up. Let's say that number, that math problem together. Ten minus zero equals ten. Great work. We're going to roll again. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we'll write our six right here. How many are left standing? One, two, three, four. So we'll write our four. Here. Let's say that math problem together. 10 minus 6 equals 4. Great work, everyone. Putting back up the pins. So we have 4 up. 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine, ten. Rolling the ball. I'll scoot back. Let's count how many we got down. One, two, three, four, and a five. So we knocked down. Write that number five right here. And let's count how many we still have standing. One, two, three, four, five. We'll write that five right here. And let's say our math problem together. Ten minus five equals five. Great work, everyone. Let's put up the pins. We have five up. So we're going to put Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to knock them down. We're going to see how well this goes with Kona hiding over here now. schedule. Our math game is all done. We're moving on to our story. So as I said, the story is a sequel to what we've been reading. So we are going to still be reading about Michael Recycle, but this time he goes on a different adventure. It's Michael Recycle and the Tree Top Cops. It is written by the by Ella Pat. 
Anderson. So she has a little different last name than before. The beach or the city, the mountains, a, a lake, even Michael Recycle still needs a break. He flicked through the paper, just paused to ponder. I'd quite like to visit a natural wonder. The great redwood forest, the world's tallest tree. Yep, yipped, yippee, yipped his dog. Tin can stand happily. But when he arrived at his new destination, it was devastation. See the exclamation point there? That means that's a very important word. It's a big word. Bulldozers here and lumberjacks there were hacking and chopping down trees everywhere. Disaster, cried Michael. But who is that? Who is to blame? I'm Michael Recycle. I'll name and I'll shame. And just at that moment, with poodles and pearls, arrived in the forest, all flouncy and whirls, two snooty ladies, Cillian and Delphine, queens of the fashion and fashion and, and magazine scene. They needed the trees to feed their machine to make millions and trillions of their magazine. Michael was angry. You must stop this, please. The air that we breathe is thanks to these trees. But the, the pair thought that Michael was simply absurd and turned up their noses at all they had heard. So Michael flew off with a frustrated sigh, then thought up a plan that he wrote in the sky. Right here. Nature lovers needed, preferably skilled climbers. Meet me at the top of the tallest tree at 15.30 hours, yours, M.R. A huge crowd had gathered by a quarter past three the, to climb up and meet him at the top of the tree. He greeted each one with a message of hope and a helmet. A, a uniform, a tool belt, and a rope. Every next, more, every next morning, the lumberjacks came, er, excuse me, early next morning, the young lumberjacks came and found a big problem. But who was to blame? Michael Recycle and the new treetop cops to save the forest from fashion. Then pull out the stops. Get out of the way, yelled an angry Celine and Delphine drove a bulldozer onto the scene, but the cops wouldn't budge and continued to hammer till the pair's angry words were drowned out by the clamor. Days and weeks passed in the blink of an eye whilst Michael's new friends built their homes in the sky. They were re there were restaurants and shops and doctors and schools and everyone lived by the recycling rules. When Selena Delphine stormed in looking grim, They'd come to see Michael to reason with him. A beautiful vision met their beady blue eyes in the green light village that was built in the skies. There were girls wearing dresses, hand stitched with such passion, all made 
out of leaves, the height of green fashion. How chic, how unique, this place in the trees. Well, he, well, here's an idea, Michael said, looking pleased. So with everyone's help, it came out one month later, Green Dreams Magazine on recycled paper. Now, thanks to the help of their new magazine, Sally and Delphine are green living queens. On sale now, the fantastic first edition, issue, reused and recycled. It's great toilet tissue. The end. Let's look at our rainbow sentence. There are a lot of feelings going on in this book. A lot of ideas, a lot of adjectives being used, and a lot of adverbs. I have picked to talk about Michael again, myself. You could pick something else. So I'm going to talk about our Cape Crusader, and he is still wearing green. So I'm going to write that as our noun is our Cape Crusader, and our adjective is green. And I'm going to use the word the at the beginning. And while we were reading, our friend here stole my pen, so I need to use a different one. I have no idea where Kona put it. Maybe she's sitting on it. So I'll come over here and write our noun. So then we have to have our adjective, which is a green word. It, it is the word green. And our article, which is the word the today. T-H-E. The Green Caped Crusader. And we're going to, I want to use the word, ver, the verb, built because they built a whole little treetop village so they built and built it and were they fast or slow about building it it went up pretty quickly so we're going to write the word quickly And where did they build? That's our preposition, our purple, is where did they do this? They did it in the trees with a period at the end of our sentence. So we have a wonderful, complete sentence about what they did in the story they built in the trees. Thank you for joining me this week. Have a wonderful weekend. See you.